The year is 2025. Imagine a world where travel time is no longer measured in hours but in minutes. Picture yourself boarding an aircraft in New York and arriving in Tokyo before you even finish your in-flight meal. This is the promise of hypersonic flight, a realm where speed transcends the boundaries of conventional travel. China, with its recent breakthrough in hypersonic engine technology, has taken a giant leap towards making this dream a reality. This is not science fiction. This is the dawn of a new era of speed powered by cutting-edge engineering and a relentless pursuit of technological advancement. The world watched in awe as China successfully tested its oblique detonation engine, achieving unprecedented speeds that redefine the limits of air travel. This achievement is not merely a testament to China's engineering prowess, but a beacon illuminating the future of aviation. The implications are far-reaching with the potential to revolutionize travel, trade, and even space exploration. The sound barrier, once an insurmountable obstacle is now a mere stepping stone in our quest to conquer the skies. For decades, breaking the sound barrier has been a testament to human ingenuity, but the quest for speed doesn't end there. Enter the hypersonic realm, where aircraft pierce through the air at speeds exceeding Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound. To put that into perspective, imagine traveling at over 6,000 kilometers per hour. Traditional jet engines, while impressive, struggle at such high speeds. They rely on a complex system of turbines and compressors to ingest air, mix it with fuel, and ignite it for thrust. At hypersonic speeds, this process becomes inefficient and prone to instability. This is where the oblique detonation engine or ODE enters the picture. This revolutionary engine operates on a fundamentally different principle, using shock waves to ignite fuel and generate thrust. Imagine a controlled explosion propelling an aircraft forward and you begin to grasp the immense power of this technology. The magic of the ODE lies in its unique combustion process. Unlike traditional engines that rely on a deflagration process, a slower, subsonic burning, the ODE harnesses the power of detonation. This involves a supersonic shock wave that rapidly compresses and ignites the fuel, creating a much more powerful and efficient explosion. Imagine a wave crashing onto the shore, its energy compressed and released in a sudden burst. That's the basic idea behind detonation. In an ODE, this wave is created by the engine's design, angled obliquely to the incoming airflow. This oblique detonation wave is what gives the engine its name and its incredible power. This innovative approach offers several advantages over traditional scramjet technology, the previous contender for hypersonic propulsion. ODEs are more efficient, generate more thrust, and can operate over a wider range of speeds. This makes them ideal for achieving sustained hypersonic flight. One might think that such an advanced engine would require exotic, hard-to-handle fuels. However, China's ODE relies on a readily available and surprisingly familiar fuel kerosene, the same stuff found in jet fuel around the world. This is a game-changer for several reasons. First, it means that this technology doesn't require a complete overhaul of existing fuel infrastructure. Second, kerosene is much safer to handle and store than other potential hypersonic fuels such as hydrogen. And finally, it makes the technology more accessible and cost-effective. But how can kerosene, a relatively conventional fuel, power such an advanced engine? The answer lies in the way the ODE prepares the fuel for combustion. Before entering the combustion chamber, the kerosene is intensely pressurized, reaching pressures thousands of times higher than atmospheric pressure. This pre-compression process is crucial. It forces the kerosene molecules closer together, creating a denser fuel-air mixture. This, combined with the oblique detonation wave, ensures rapid and complete combustion, unleashing the full potential of this seemingly ordinary fuel. Section 5, Trial by Fire Testing the ODE. The true test of any engine lies in its performance under real-world conditions. To evaluate the capabilities of their revolutionary ODE, Chinese engineers turned to the JF-12 shock tunnel in Beijing, a facility designed to simulate the extreme conditions of hypersonic flight. Imagine a wind tunnel capable of generating air speeds exceeding Mach 9, nine times the speed of sound. That's the JF-12, a marvel of engineering in itself. Inside this tunnel, the ODE was put through its paces, subjected to the immense pressures and temperatures experienced at hypersonic speeds. The results were nothing short of remarkable. The ODE achieved stable detonation at Mach 9 for an extended period, demonstrating its ability to sustain hypersonic flight. These tests provided invaluable data, 
validating the engine's design and paving the way for its future development. Section 6. The New Arms Race. The successful testing of China's ODE has sent ripples through the global defense community. Its potential applications in hypersonic missiles and aircraft have ignited a new arms race, with nations scrambling to develop countermeasures and maintain their strategic edge. Imagine a missile, armed with conventional explosives but capable of traveling at Mach 16, over 19,000 kilometers per hour. Such a weapon would be virtually impossible to intercept using current missile defense systems, rendering them obsolete. This development has forced countries like the United States and Russia to reevaluate their defense strategies. The era of hypersonic warfare is upon us, and the stakes have never been higher. Section 7. Challenges on the Horizon While the successful testing of China's ODE marks a significant milestone in hypersonic propulsion, the path to fully operational hypersonic aircraft is paved with challenges. Overcoming these hurdles will require continued innovation and a relentless pursuit of engineering excellence. One of the biggest challenges lies in managing the extreme heat generated during hypersonic flight. At speeds exceeding Mach 5, air friction alone can heat the surface of an aircraft to thousands of degrees Celsius. Developing materials that can withstand such extreme temperatures is crucial for the success of hypersonic technology. Another significant challenge is ensuring stable fuel flow and combustion at hypersonic speeds. The immense pressures and temperatures inside the engine can disrupt fuel flow, leading to instability and even engine failure. Innovative fuel injection systems and combustion chamber designs are needed to overcome this obstacle. Section 8. Beyond the Battlefield, Hypersonic Promise While the military implications of hypersonic technology are undeniable, its potential extends far beyond the battlefield. Imagine a world where commercial airliners could cross continents in a matter of hours, revolutionizing international travel and trade. Picture yourself boarding a hypersonic passenger jet in London and arriving in Sydney in time for dinner, or shipping time-sensitive cargo across the globe in a fraction of the current time. This is the promise of hypersonic technology, a future where distance is no longer a barrier to human connection and economic progress. And then there's space exploration. Hypersonic engines could power the next generation of reusable spacecraft, making space travel more accessible and affordable. Imagine a future where space tourism is commonplace, and scientific exploration of our solar system is no longer limited by the constraints of conventional rocket technology. The successful testing of China's ODE is not just a technological breakthrough, it's a glimpse into a future filled with possibilities. The journey to this future will be challenging, but the potential rewards are too great to ignore.